Good morning. Today our topic is reorder point and reorder quantity. At first, reorder point. What is reorder point? The reorder point tells when to order. Reorder point is equal to demand per day into lead time for a new order in days. Demand per day is small d lead time for a new order in days is equal to L and small d is equal to capital D that is demand by number of working days in a year. Next reorder point the level of inventory at which a new order is placed the R is equal to D into L where D is equal to demand rate per period and L is equal to lead time. The example of reorder point suppose the demand is 8000 tablets per year and 250 working day in year the lead time for orders is 3 working days so small d is equal to capital D by number of working days in a year the capital D is demand and the day uh, the small d is equal to units per day so capital D which is demand that is 8000 tablets per day so 8000 by 250 which is number of working days in a year is equal to 32 tablets so small d is equal to 32 tablets now reorder point that is ROP is equal to small d into capital L is equal to 32 tablets per day into 3 days because lead time L is equal to 3 working days so 32 into 3 is equal to 96 tablets now the reorder point is 96 tablets so the level of inventory at which a new order is placed that is reorder point so when 96 tablets that level is reached on that time we can order or new order is placed on that time now reorder point curve the x axis represents the time in days and the y axis represent the inventory level in units that is quantity here reorder point is this and the lead time is here here the order is placed and here the materials we can get the the mean time is called lead time and the slope is equal to units per day it represents the units per day is equal to that is uh, small d so the reorder point we can understand by this graph clearly now reorder quantity the quantity of items to be ordered so as continue production without any interruption in failure reorder level quantity is equal to safety stock plus uses rate into lead time now we can see the graph where we can see the reorder point, the lead time, order placed, 
and order received in between this time that is late time and the demand rate when the reorder point is reached on that time we can place a new order and when the material uh, quantity of material finished before that the order is received and now also the graph is started again now variable demand with the reorder point that is one of my graph you can also understand the safety stock by seeing this graph where also the x axis represents the time and y axis represents the inventory level in quantity the reorder point is r that is and the safety stock is here Thank you.